Hello everyone, Angelica Dominage here, trainer at Pragmatic Works. Today I want to show you how to set up row level security on your reports when you have multiple conditions to consider. Today, I'm going to show you this using the updated row level security, the managed security editor window that was just released with the February 2023 Power BI update. So if you are new to row level security or if you're looking for a little bit more of a background on getting started with row level security, be sure to check out my video in the description below on setting up basic row level security in Power BI. But you know what time it is, let's head over to the Power BI desktop to get started. Alright, so here I have a report similar to the one that I used in the basic row level security video that I've linked in the description. And in this report, we are using that AdventureWorks data set here, and I have just three sample pages set up here. A summary page, a sales by country and product page, and a sales analysis, analysis excuse me, by country and quarter. I'm gonna jump over to the sales by country and product page here. And on this page, I have a slicer set up with our country data, a standard card visual with the total quantity dropped in here, as well as the total product cost dropped into another card visual. Over here, we have the sales amount by age breakdown using that age breakdown column we, that was created uh, here using some nested ifs. And then in here, in the sales amount by country, we're just using the donut chart here. So with our security, what we currently have set up, if we go to the modeling tab and then go into our manage roles security window here. So as you can see, this looks a little bit different than it did before the update was released. So what has been done with this new update here is we can, I'll go ahead and select the Australia role here and then select the table that the filter has been applied on. Now we can very quickly and very easily go in here and set up row level security without really using any DAX at all. We can just go in here and it has these uh, nice and easy drop downs for us to click into and select from to set up our roles. However, if we do need to use DAX, or if you would rather use DAX, you have the ability to switch back to the DAX editor there. I'm gonna drop out of here really quick here and take a look at our report. So on this sales by country and product page here, let's say that for this page, or for this report rather, we want to have a security rule that isn't just filtering the data based on the country. Maybe we wanna filter on the country as well as one of these age categories here. So maybe you're thinking, no problem, we already have our country roles set up as we saw in that editor window. Now all we need to do is go in and set up the roles for the age breakdown groups, right? Well, let's take a look and see what would happen if we did create a role for age breakdown and assigned one user to both of those roles. Let's take a look at what they would see. So here on this page, we're going to select modeling and then select manage roles. Now, if we wanted to set up a role or a role for our age breakdowns, we would go in here and just go ahead and start applying the filter to the specific column. So we could go in here and select new. We would then rename our role here either by double clicking untitled or by hitting the ellipses here to then select rename. I will go ahead and name this one here ages 55 plus for this role. We'll start with the top age breakdown group there. And then we want to, on the customer table, we want to add a filter. So we can select add here now, and then what we want to change here is we only want to show the data when, 
and we can apply this to all of the rules or if we want to apply multiple here we'll take a look at this in just a moment. What we could do here is we can then go into the drop down, select the age breakdown column and then say only show us the age breakdown when the individuals are 55 and older. All right, we have that set up, our new role is created and named, we have our filter applied to that specific column on our customer table. We can switch the DAX editor and see the DAX that's being applied here. Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to select save. We then see that our role has successfully been saved. Let's go ahead and jump out of here. Now, if we were going to assign someone to two roles, let's say that we only wanted to, for when someone logged into this report, we wanted them to only see the data associated with customers from the U.S. who were also ages 55 and up. If that is the case, let's go ahead, I'm going to select 55 and up here from our uh, sales amount uh, by age breakdown visual. And then I'm also going to select United States from my country slicer here. So we can see that the total sales for this specific group here is for the United States is going to be $6,944,603.50. So if we assign one user to both of those roles, this should be the value. This should be what's returned to us. So let's go ahead, let's view as those roles combined, and let's see when we view what it would be for a user assigned to both the ages 55 and up group as well as our United States, let me scroll down, our United States role. When someone is assigned to both of those roles, let's see if that's what they can see. If they can only see the intersection of the data at the United States role and at 55 and up, when the data is equal to US and 55 and up. So very quickly and at a first glance here, we can see not only are we seeing other countries' data, but we are getting data for other age groups. That's because we are viewing this as the US role and as ages 55 and up. So when the data is equal to the United States, we're seeing that. So then we're also seeing data associated with other countries because we have customers in other countries who are purchasing from us who are 55 years and up. So in order to set this up the way that we want, to get the result that we want, we need to, instead of just uh, creating these roles separately and assigning users to both of those roles separately, we need to create one role that has a filter, both of the filters that we want here, a filter on our customer table specifically for the age breakdown column when users are 55 and up, as well as on the country table for when our region, when our sales are looking at just sales territory inside of the United States. So that's what we're gonna do here now. We're gonna set up that role, take a look and view this as to confirm it's doing what we want, and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna stop viewing this role now, and I'm gonna go back into my manage roles section of this modeling tab here, and I'm going to now select new role, and I'm gonna double click here and retitle this role US and ages 55 plus. We'll hit that check mark there so that we successfully rename our role. Now we need to go in and add a filter on our customer table as well as our sales territory table. I'll start with sales territory. So we'll select the sales territory table, then select add. So we only want to see the data when the country equals United States, being sure to type this out correctly. And now we also only want to see our data here when our customers are 55 when their age is equal to 55 and up. So we want to see both of those there. So we will go ahead, apply two filters here now on one roll. We'll go ahead and click save. It says that this was successfully done. All right, let's close this out. Remember for this to successfully have worked the way we wanted so that when users log in to only see data associated with the country United States and for users ages 55 and up, 
we expect to only see sales totaling in $6,944,603.53, excuse me. So let's go ahead, let's now test this out here. I'm gonna select view as, we're gonna scroll down and select that new role we created with both of those filters, select okay. And there we go, that is what we see. It is now only showing us data at the intersection here. We can test this out on our other report pages as well. I'm only seeing country United States. I'm seeing the regions within United States. We're only seeing sales for that specific country and for the specific age. All right, a couple of things to remember. You create these security roles here in the Power BI desktop, and then you will go back and assign users to those roles inside of the Power BI service. All right, thank you for joining me in this video. I hope you find it helpful in your journey in applying security and creating those roles using bro level security. If you want to stay up to date with all of us here at Pragmatic Works on new content we push out on push out here on our channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button below. If you want more content from us here at Pragmatic Works other than what we're putting out here on our YouTube channel, make sure to check out the link below in the description to sign up for our on-demand learning platform where you can find courses on Power BI, the suite of tools inside of the Power Platform like Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, and also some specific courses on DAX, Azure, just to name a few. That's all for this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.